we would define the greatest common divisors among two integers n1 and n2. And we start by looking at the common divisor between the two integers. So given two integers n1 and n2, the set of common divisors is denoted as cd of n1 and n2, and this is all integers m such that m divides n1 and m divides n2. And looking at this set of common divisors, we say that the greatest common divisor that we abbreviate as GCD is the GCD of n1 and n2 is the maximum of the set of common divisors of n1 and n2. There are a few important properties of the greatest common divisors that can be good to know and to use. So one property is that the GCD of n1 and n2 is always a unique integer and it is undefined when n1 equals n2 equals 0. Another property is that the GCD of plus minus n1 and plus minus n2 is the same as the GCD of n1 and n2. Further, the GCD between the two integers n and 0 is the absolute value of n. And the final property is that if the GCD of n1 and n2 is 1, we are going to say that n1 and n2 are relatively prime. So let's look at an example. We have the two integers n1 equals 231 and we have the integer n2 equals 84. Now 231 can, for example, be written as 3 times 77, which means that 3 divides 231. And for the integer 84, we can write this as 3 times 28, which means that 3 divides 84 in this case. So we see that 3 is a common divisor. of these two numbers, 231 and 84, which means that we can write that 3 is in the set that we have now called the common divisors of 231 and 84. If we look at all the common divisors, we can start by just factoring the two numbers and we will see that the common divisors of 231 and 84 is the set that includes plus minus 1, plus minus 3, plus minus 7, and plus minus 21. So these are all the common divisors of 231 and 84. And from this we can see that the greatest common divisor between 231 and 84 is the largest number in this set. So it is, up, it is plus 21. So this is the greatest common divisor. Another notion is that of the least common multiple. The least common multiple between two integers is defined as follows. So given two integers n1 and n2, the set of common multiples is denoted as cm of n1 and n2, and these are all the positive integers, m, such that n1 divides m and n2 divides m. And the least common multiple, which we will define as lcm, is then the lcm of n1 and n2 is the minimum of the set of the common multiples of n1 and n2. A property that can be useful is that the greatest common divisors between two numbers multiplied by the least common multiples of the same number is the product of the two numbers n1 and n2.